Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of season 2 of Cells at Work. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> So this should probably be like what the finale well this is the continuation of cancer cell but then at the same time this should be like the last part for the um acid bacterias Yeah, but see, all three of you, not one, not two, but all three of y'all got to all by hand to him. Cancer cell. I mean, because honestly, this cancer cell seems way more OP than the previous one. It's not him, no. Because I mean, like, also, this cancer cell is a hell of a lot smarter than the first gen. I wonder if we're getting an opening this time. really giving us an opening. <laughs> they did that with three minutes. Two probably three minute recap. Let's see. Three minute recap. <laughs> a three minute recap. Just to give us an opening. They could have skipped an opening this week and we could have got right into the action. They could have literally put the credits while the recap was going. I get the fact that yes, we got to show an opening, but like still, they could have been like here. No, take take a recap opening. Honestly, I feel like the little bacteria that the ordinary cell has, that's going to be the only thing that's going to be able to defeat cancer cell. I don't know because we don't know what he's capable of. He's the last one left, so... Mm 
Now, I wonder if they're going to go back and forth between the battle and then, you know, Red Blood Cell. And, um, what's his face? God, that's nasty. Mm. Oh, and Kay. Oh, thank God. What exactly do you want to do? And there's his puppet. Sir, that's cheating. That's cheating. There are three of them. <laughs> and like so many of you. That is cheating. He's cheating. He's cheating. Then how the fuck are you supposed to defeat them? <clears throat> I mean, these things just came back together like they was freaking Tomie. What the heck? No. Oh, God. There's literally no end to this. gonna block that punch. Oh. Wait, hold on, best girl. But still. That's really disgusting. Um. Oh! No, don't die! I know, right? You <laughs> just you keep going and you don't look back. Uh -oh. Huh?
It's a dead end. Shit. But where else can they go? Oh, it's gonna be okay. Oh my god, I'm glad they show it. It's because they have precious. Oh. What did you want? She just laughed him. Oh my god. But seriously, why? I mean, yes, I get the fact that he's part of the body, but still, he's a threat. Damn, she is. She's like, but Oh. I mean, because she can't be controlled against him. <laughs> Excuse me. I get that, but still. Yeah. But you, Cancer Cell, you're toxic to this body. You can kill this body. Oh god, that's hard. Oh. It's both at the same time because they need each other to live. I get that, but still, you need to go. Huh. 
Well, yeah, I mean, because you've already fucked up half of the place right now. Is he getting wings? Oh, no, he's just getting more hands. Because as of right now, there still is no cure for cancer. This is a two-part episode. How the heck are they going to end this two-part episode? I mean, oh my god. Oh, he got wings. The fact that Ryder Lee teased though. Oh my god, out of all the people... All the people. Oh. This is, oh my god. This is just, ah, oh, life-threatening, serious. You know regularly is coming. See, here she comes. Oh. I know, and I love her, but she needs to change her sentence. Like, please. Hence why you kept getting your ass kicked when you were younger. You need to get out of there.
Oh, no! Oh, that's my Fitbit. <laughs> Oh, this might end on a cliffhanger. I don't know what to say about this, but all right. Number one, regularly T Cell, played by one of my favorite actresses, my number one, Saudi Hayumin. To see her somewhat as the bad guy, but necessarily she's not really the bad guy. She's kind of in the middle, and she's really saying that since cancer cell is a cell formed from the body, that it has a place in in the body just as much as any of the other cells but still at the same time over here like no <laughs> that's a cancer cell i was like if this cell stays in the body this body is dead gonzo it's not going to be able to come back cancer cell might live on out and hop into another body like so many times but precious red blood cell the precious platelets white blood cell and k memory any of the other cells that I can't really remember right now, they would all be dead because of this one cell. And because of regular T cell, even though, yeah, she is my best girl and I love her so much. But still, no, like, oh my god. So ordinary cell getting tortured by the bacteria. I don't like that. Like, oh god, I don't know what's going to happen next week. I'm scared. <laughs> oh! And of course, next week she's gonna realize like she's wrong, and that you know cancer cell shouldn't be treated like every other cell because it is a killer at the end of the day. I mean, it's very similar to what um, happened in season one with the two cancer cells and the one that got captured, and then the other one that didn't, and then you know he died, and then he gets revenge in this season. Um, because of the fact is, yes, they are cells or really people too at the same time, and they should be treated just as much as everyone else if not better because they all are the same no matter what they're running through the body but because of the fact is um cancer cell is a really bad cell um of course he's going to be treated very differently like automatically with them getting killed in season one and he's like you know but we're a part of this body too we were born from this body and we did nothing wrong they you know it, it, ever since they were born and especially what they did in season one going into this season um they're a death sentence they're they're wrong to society and so no, no matter what if of this society of the body they're going to die 
I mean, honestly, I don't know what the hell's going to happen next week. So I'm just scared. I mean, honestly, this is a damn good episode, especially with the fact that regularly T-Cell comes in and immediately kicks memory T's ass. Like, oh my God, I wasn't expecting that at all. But hopefully she's able to see the error of her ways going into next week. But, you know, we got to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of season 2 of Cells of Work. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Thursday for episode 8. Bye, guys.